Hi, today I'll be taking you through a stock market report built by Collective using Power BI. This report focuses on Dow Jones, NASDAQ, and the S&P 500. There are separate pages for each with a fourth page for stock volumes. This report provides you with crucial stock market performance information. On this first page, there is a visual that allows you to track the percent change between the opening and closing prices of all stocks being measured by the Dow Jones. The greatest average change occurred in the second quarter of 2020. The second visual on this page allows you to see the average opening and closing prices by month. You're easily able to determine that August saw the highest average prices and March and April saw the lowest. The final visual on this page gives you insight into the maximum and minimum prices for individual stocks. Now let's move on to the NASDAQ and S&P 500 pages. Both pages show similar representations of stock price information as the Dow Jones page. You can see here that there was a similar trend of lower average prices in March and April in NASDAQ and in the S&P 500. Because NASDAQ and the S&P 500 utilize the same visuals as the Dow Jones, it makes it easy to track similarities and differences across the three indexes by simply clicking through the menus. Moving on to the volume page, we can see visuals for dollar change, average volume, and percent change. The graph below this is similar to the previous pages, but this time it allows you to track the changes in volume over the year. You can see that the volume peaked in March and October of the most recent year. Stock information can be hard to parse through. Power BI reports like this one can help you to visually sort through the information to locate important trends in the data. Contact us at gocollective.com to work with us.